Hello everybody, I am Fuzzy Face, and welcome to what is part 11 in this playthrough of Motorsport Manager 2016. We are with the Predator Racing Group and we are in the uh, Black Sea Grand Prix, the Russian Grand Prix next time. Or oh, this time, I should say. Last time out we finished 4th and 10th, another top 10 finish, which if you saw the last episode you will know where we are at. We are actually in first place with Santa Ana in the driver standings and we are at first place with Predator Racing in the Constructing Championship and we are in the last race of the season so the unlikely title challenge continues we started off this season with the worst car in the entire championship we worked on it a little bit and it seems like even though we're so far behind still the top teams we are challenging. We were eight points behind after the after um, after Tondelo. We were eight points behind uh, Ozu. We managed to pick up a massive eighteen points on them in the last race. But obviously, this last race of the season in Black in the Black Sea is a double points race, so it's imperative that we have a decent finish. And last season we finished with a whimper we finished 13th and 15th last season Black Sea isn't a track that seems to suit us I don't think I don't know what we although we did well with it at the start of this season although it is a different layout this one corner seems to make a massive difference to the setups of the cars but I did manage to get a 97% setup last year I didn't use that in both cars I, I foolishly went ahead and used a 67% set up in Santa Ana's car for some reason last year so hopefully that makes a difference this year and we're gonna go ahead and try and see if we can win this championship here it would be a massive achievement if we can we're still working on this new engine so we're gonna go ahead and skip now till this engine is built and come back then although no no we won't skip ahead because we've got some sponsors to deal with just go ahead and look what we can get. We can now get £400,000 per race for this, which is, is that quite a bit more than we were getting? It's probably about an extra 100000 isn't it? So we're going to go ahead and leave that till just before the next race. And now we're going to go ahead and skip to when the engine is built. Right, so we're back and... Uh, Fred Mohammed, we started, finished scouting him. What was he? He's another one that's better than our current drivers, but I'm not sure. Marketability 44. The only way that we might consider changing another driver is if we find someone with a marketability of 100%, which would allow us to get better sponsors, which might just pay for them. But we've got this engine built now. We've got factory staff idle. But we don't have anything that we want to improve at the moment because we don't want to work on this engine just yet but we might as well go ahead and work on it just in case this one doesn't get finished in time because we're going to go ahead and do this one now oh no, can we not build that second part? how come we can only get two slots on this? is that just because of some reason because of the That's strange, isn't it? I thought, I thought after the last one we'd be able to unlock three parts to this one. No, it doesn't look like there's any way of doing that, does it? So that's the one that we're going with for next season, so yeah. So the base next season is a 218, but although now that we are in this unlikely position of maybe moving up a series, not something I actually want to do because we'll be so far behind the other teams then I don't think the engine would be a problem because unless they've voted on it in the last two seasons then the engine is a spec part in the Asia Pacific Cup but we've had another offer for a sponsor I don't think you ever get more than three sponsorship offers this one's £200,000 at race this one is a lot better than the others so that's probably the one we're going to accept when it comes to race time it's obviously 14 days away and it looks like we've got rain for practice but a clear race so we're going to go ahead and skip ahead to the next race. Yeah, so we'll get to the next race and we'll pick it up from there. Right, so we're at the Black Sea Grand Prix. We haven't had any other sponsorship offers, so we're going to accept this one from Ravelli. £400,000 a race. So we are now getting... 
Probably, I think it's 50,000 more, and I think we were getting 892,000 the race before. Uh, the uh, scouting finished on Bao Tang, the former Dragon Race driver that we were looking for. He is a pair driver at 221. What do we get for Latinen? 243. So, depending on whether we go up or not. I am sort of considering going for Baotang, just because it might be a little bit cheaper, plus he's a pay driver, plus he's got this 100% markability stat, which I'm not sure what level you need to be at for this, for this to change into 3%, uh, to 3 stars, so if this, like Latin and 30%, if that goes up to 100, 100 and 7, then we're way over... Should bring this to around here somewhere, which means we could get a three star sponsor appeal level, which means we would get a lot better deals on a lot of these things, which could be maybe an extra £300,000 per race, an extra £3 million per year. And because they're both rated similar at two stars, even though she does have some potential, but she is quite, she's quite, uh, she's older. So I'm not quite sure whether she's actually going to fill this potential or not. It might be worth something worth considering. He's all affecting that market ability. He's got a couple of temporary things, hasn't he? That's uh, affecting him. It's just this first lap panic step. Everything drops by four stars. So I guess that's that's a thing that totally puts me off going in that direction. So I think I'm after seeing that. I think I'm, that's not something I'm going to accept. There was a reason he was fired from one of the worst teams, Dragon Race team, and that's probably the reason. So yeah, I think we're going to stick with Latin, and since we're both do they're both doing so well. But if we do get promoted, then we might have to think about a better driver. Or should we focus on uh, hoarding money for the inevitable drop back down? Who knows? But anyway, I think all the parts are fitted, fitted that we want. We're not going to put this risky engine in, even though it's a lot better. We haven't worked on the reliability. We don't want to take the risk of dropping down a few places just to get a small boost. So that's everything that we can do for this. So we're going to go ahead and get to practice. And we'll see what sort of setup we can get last year on this race. I got a 97% with Latin in this car, so that's the setup we're going to go with. Uh, for both cars here, see what sort of feedback they give on that. See if it's still as close to 97% as last season. Obviously the car's improved a lot since then. In different ways. So the setup should be different. But what did we do last year? 17.3. We did. And we did a 27.8 as well. This was all the way down at 18. 2.4. Short gear ratios at 25 and then higher at 69. So that's what we went with last season. So I think it's what we'll try this season at. Yeah, I think we'll just run the same for both and see what sort of initial feedback we get from both drivers on that setup. We'll run them both on the mediums since we're not bothered about times or anything. Let's see what sort of feedback we get from that and we'll pick it back up after these couple of laps have been completed. Right, so they're both back into the pit. Santa Ana's a lot happier with that than um, Latinen is, so we've just got to try and fix a downforce for her. So we're only going to drop it a couple of notches. We'll try 17, we'll drop it 0.3 on both. It's not going to affect too much on either side, is it? Is there any way to get that back? Any way to get those back? I think that's what we're going to have to stick with, see what we can get from that. We'll run her again on a medium tyre, so we'll send her out. So we do have to mess with the downforce a little bit on Santa Ana's car, uh, Latinan's car even. So we'll be a bit more drastic, we'll put those within 10 of each other there. Should we leave those the same? Maybe we'll put that up. 
We'll go with that, shall we? Although she was great with that, so maybe we can do that to bring these back in line. Not too much. Maybe what does it starts at 21, doesn't it? So we'll go with that and we'll bring that back to normal. So we'll see what we get off this one. But it's not too shabby at all. We're 90%. There, but obviously we want to try and get it as high as we can because we are challenging for the title here. The unlikely title challenge of the Predator team, as we keep calling it. So we're going to go out once again, bring them back in, and we'll see how we got on with those setups. So we're back again pretty early on here. We've got excellent for Santa Ana, so we can maybe think about setting some lap times now. Um, it's just a handling that we need to sort out on Santa Ana's car, so we're going to send her out on a pair of softs this time see what sort of time we can get and we're gonna gonna try and fix the handling here so the handling was great on this setup more to the right so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go two to the right with that just try and bring the speed balance back to that and we'll do that and we'll set a time as well with this although we sent them out a bit close together there but Santa Ana should get out a bit quicker since we're not uh, changing anything with her car so yeah we'll come back for the flying lap so Santa Ana's on this final corner now we're gonna put her into the reds to see what time we're getting Latinan's just about coming around so we'll do the same to her although I think there's a bit of traffic we're gonna catch so we might not get the best reading but let's see what we're like in sector one whilst we're clear and it looks like the rain's just about to start we're quicker there in the first sector again Although not with uh, Latinum, but I think she got held up by a couple of these cars. So we might just be able to get this time in. We're not too far behind here. Although we're getting held up here on the final corner. So we're not too far behind there. So 10th, and that's we've been held up. And 9th, and that's we've been held up as well. And it looks like it's going to rain there for the rest of the session. It looks like it's going to rain a lot, doesn't it? So I think that's pretty much where we're going to leave it. I might do a little bit more work on Latinan's car, depending on what this comes in at. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty happy with the setups there, because even though we got helmed up, we were pretty close to uh, first place there, before we got helmed up. We were only about half a second behind, weren't we? I think 0.4 seconds behind. So we're still fully done with that. Just a little bit more to go on Latinan. We might just set one more lap, send her out for one more lap. So we need to go right, just one more bit I think. Can we go right again? Can we tie these up? We'll do that. And we've got to go out on intermediates this time. We're going to get two wet here, it's going to get fully. going to need to be on the full wets aren't we? And we'll just send her out again for the fun of it. But yeah, anyway, we're going to leave it at that. This is the last, last lap we're going to do in practice. And uh, we'll pick this back up for the race. Right, so we're ready now for this last uh, Grand Prix of the season. This is what it's all come down to. The 10th race of the season. The last race of the season. 10th or above is what we want for this 400,000. But obviously, we want to do a lot better than that for Santorana. And we want to do a, around that for Latinan because we are currently first in the Constructors' Championships. I think we've got a 10-point lead, but obviously it's double points for this race, so it's going to be hard to keep on to that 10-point lead without a decent result. And Santa Ana, I think she's maybe 3 or 5 ahead. I can't quite remember. But hopefully she can stay above the other uh, cars that she's competing with, so she needs to get up the order quite high. We did that, it didn't say nurse there, did it? So we must have lost some relationship with her mechanic for some reason. I'm not quite sure why, but we'll have to go with the engine expert mode. Just check. Look at that little one, the fourth little notch on there. It looks like it's going to start raining, heading towards about lap three. So we're not going to be able to use our usual strategy of trying to go longer than everyone else. So we're going to have to come out on the soft tyres. And we're going to have to, um, yeah, we're going to have to change our strategy totally to what we usually do. 
So we're going to do the saucer buff. We also got this up on the last practice, that last lap. We actually managed to get the handling just perfect for Latinum. So we got 98% in both cars. So that should help for, hopefully help us here. And we're going to be looking to pit around lap three. So who are we going to bring in first? So should we take a bit of fuel out of one of the cars? Or both of the cars? Should we put them both on four laps and then see how they go? Hopefully none of the other cars are doing that. So we should maybe pick up about half a second on our speed. We'll have them both push for the first lap. And then we'll see how it goes from there. So hopefully we've got fingers crossed, we've got toes crossed. Pretty much everything crossed here that we can get a decent result. I don't think we're going to get the Drivers' Championship. Because it's going to be really hard for Santa Ana to do anything from here. Because she's around all the other... All the other... Uh, drivers that are um, competing with her so we've got Carlier, Diaz and Mikhail I think all of these drivers have got a chance of winning the championship but we've obviously got a real chance of winning the constructors championship here with a decent result hopefully we can get that decent result it's just going to be a question whether we can hold on because we've got this rain to contend with during this race and Latinum gets held up a bit there and drops down a few Santa Ana's picked up a couple of places over the people that she's competing with so we're not doing too badly here at the start obviously it's Ozu that are the main uh, main competitors so that's Diaz there and this one running up here so Diaz and Gata are the ones that we have to keep an eye on because that's the team that we're mainly competing with for the championship So what we don't need is any lockups, so we're not going to push him too much, and hopefully Santa Ana's dropped off, and uh, just as I said, we don't want any lockups. She goes ahead and locks up. I'm going to have to put that in push because we can't afford to drop behind this pack at the moment because we're going to have to come in soon for intermediates, and it looks like we're going to have to double stack because I don't think that first notch is going to be... Uh, is going to be good enough there and it looks like Latin is locked up as well absolutely great from both drivers there an absolute brilliant start absolutely messing it up out there locking up the tyres and wasting away these uh, softs here so we fall behind so is it going to start raining? looks like we're going to have to go an extra lap doesn't it? can't afford to pit them so we're going to have to pit at the end of this lap so we'll go ahead and schedule that now because we're coming in for the intermediates Can I just have a look here because it looks like we've wasted away all the fuel as well by pushing so much. So we're gonna have to turn it down to uh we're gonna have to turn down the engine mode once we've done this and we're gonna go fast and we've not changed the tires, intermediates. And we've gone for that. How long is it gonna rain for us? So we're gonna have to make another pit stop, aren't we? So we shouldn't put in a full complement of fuel, should we? So we should probably go for probably four laps again. Could we? We'll try that. I'm not sure how long it's going to rain for, but it does seem to be stopping. So we'll go with that. We'll go with four. We'll make the pit stop quicker, and then the car will be quicker as well. And we'll do the same for Santa Ana. Although we try. Coming in, anyone? We're going slower, so maybe we can get away with three laps of fuel, but I don't think we can. We'll go with four and have a push a bit more, maybe. But she's going to come into the pit second. So it does look like we're going to have to double stack on this pit stop. And we're going to have to make sure we turn this down now so we've got enough fuel to get around to the end of the lap. We can't just keep pushing like that. But we're falling behind here, which is exactly what we didn't want here. So hopefully we can pull some out through the pit stops. And here comes the rain. Everyone's diving into the pits. There's a couple that have stayed out for some reason. Are they going to try and get through the wet weather without coming in? We have both cars make decent pit stops there. Latinum managed to move up into 12th there through the pits. Santa Ana still running behind. But we're not, we can't push these intermediates too much because the intermediates do wear away quite quickly. We'll just keep an eye on when the rain's going to stop and that'll decide on when we can start pushing. So where are we at? Gato and Diaz are still around us. It looks like we're still beating 
the Ozu at the moment, which is what we want. So hopefully we can get a few more places here with Santa Ana. When we're going to stop raining. A couple of laps, so maybe we can push that pushing Santa Ana now. It's like everyone's now coming to the pits. Santa Ana is gaining here. So hopefully we can catch back up and Latin has managed to get up in a 10th place here through the pit stops. So who are we going to have go longer here? One of them, we're going to have to cut double stack again on the pit. So we might try bring Santa Ana in earlier. She is pushing at the moment so she is probably going to have to come in after this lap. She's probably going to mess her up a little bit. It's because we didn't put enough fuel in, isn't it? That's why. So we're going to have to turn Latin and down. And we're going to have to push with Santa Ana. Because she's going to come in now. For the soft tyres, it's still a bit wet out on track, but we're going to have to take that risk. And we still do have another pit stop to go anyway. After this, so hopefully... The rain has stopped and the track is drying out, so hopefully it's good enough for the soft tyres when we come in. It does look like it could be. Like on the cusp here of whether it's good enough for softs or not. Hopefully, it sort of works out and that we can pick up some time because, yeah, that's really what we need is to pick up some time here. So, hopefully, we can get out. Had a bit of a bad pit stop there, but we're going to do the same for Latin in this lap. She's got enough fuel to get round now. Let's see if she's got enough to turn it back up to actually get round. Yes, yeah, she has. Can she go push mode and get round? With enough fuel? Yes, she can. So we'll do that and fill her up to the top. Remember to change the tyres, pack conditions right, pit strategy fast as always. So let's just see if she can sort of pick up any time coming out of the pits here. Is it sort of dry enough for, for dry tyres? Go ahead and have a push a little bit, see if she can catch up. Catch up this back of the grid and overtake them as they come into the pit. She's falling behind, so it's probably not the right time for the dry tyres. Everyone's now diving into the pit, so we'll see where Santa Ana She's quite far behind, isn't she? I'm going to go ahead and have Latin and push now. So it's all up to Latin in here, and Santa Ana actually did quite well there, getting up into 12th. So we do have... Uh, Tires up to temperature are more than the ones that have just come in, so maybe we can keep this position. Dive into the pits again in a little bit. Whereas everyone else, are some of these try to go for a go the entire race now from here. They shouldn't be able to because they don't have enough fuel in the car, so everyone does have to stop again. So hopefully we can pick up some more. We can pick it up again through the pits. We're running 9th and 12th now, so where are Gatto? Ghetto is right here in last, so that's uh, boarding well for us in the constructors. And where is Diaz? Both behind us, so that's the team that we're mainly competing with. Callier, you see, in the. So he's still behind Santa Ana. Who was the other one? And Mikhailovich there. So both, all the drivers that are competing with Santa Ana now are currently behind her. So hopefully it stays that way. Things seem to have worked out there, so we we'll maybe turn her down, see if we can get her through three more laps, and then we can. Uh, or should we? Do we need to? Do we need to, or could we just push now and try to get two more laps out of this fuel? That's what we're going to try to do, I think. We've got plenty of fuel in Latinan's car. I'm just going to watch the tyre temperatures, but the, there's not much grip on the track, and it looks like it's going to start raining again around lap 11, so. It looks like we're going to have to try turn her down a little bit. I don't know how heavy the rain's going to be. I wonder if it's going to be up to a point where intermediates are needed again or not. I'm not quite sure. So we're going to have to try and wait that out with Lightning because she can go three more laps. Um, Santa Ana can go two more laps here. And we're just No, it's not going to rain much, is it? It looks like it's just a light drizzle and then stopping. So we're going to keep going to what we were doing. Back to that because it looks like there it starts raining and then stops straight away, doesn't it? So yeah, hopefully 
Hopefully we don't need to pick for intermediates. Hopefully, they, I don't think it changes. But if we can keep these positions up, it looks like we've got the drivers uh, championship and the constructors sewn up, I think. I'm not sure if there were any other cars that were competing with us here. And this time we're going to have to have Santa Ana pit for her last pair of tyres. And we're going to put an extra lap of fuel in. And we've just got enough there to get to the end of the race with that. We'll go fast. So Santa Ana can keep pushing, then she's going to have to turn it down. And a lot of cars are pitting around now. We've got one of the Ozus behind us. So I think we've got enough to push just coming out here. So we can push for this out lap. And then um, turn the engine down from there. So, new soft tyres for Latin, and we're going to go just enough plus one, which is almost a full tank, isn't it? That should get us to the end of the race for her. So, let's just keep an eye on Latin, and we need her to get out of the pits in front of Diaz. I think he's the highest competitor. Isn't he? Because Gatto is all the way down here, so things look like they're going well so far. Latin and here, she's got enough to get round, so maybe we can. No, we don't need to waste the tyres. So, where can she get out of the pits in 13th, 12th, 11th? So, we're coming out, but I think a lot of them have still got to come in and pit. There's a couple. Here comes that little bit of rain and it's going to rain again towards the end of the race but I don't think because it's the last couple of laps that anyone's going to come in a pit for intermediate so we're not going to do that either. And it looks like we do have enough now so that we can keep pushing with uh, Latin until the end of the race. We'll keep pushing on these new tyres and we'll keep pushing with Santa Ana's tyres. So hopefully when these last round of pit stops go around we're still somewhere around where we want to be. Not running up the order this time like we were doing. Should we order Latin in to let Santa Ana pass here? Should we? It doesn't look like she's travelling quicker. So we'll ask her to let her through. Like that, and then we'll have a race again. And that has dropped Latin and down, and she no, she didn't end up losing that place. Hopefully she doesn't end up losing that place. And she has lost that place. Not too bothered, but what was that? Nope. Sparks coming off uh, Santa Ana's car, but there's not wrong with that. I'm going to have to turn her engine down now. So maybe Latin and we'll catch back up to her now. But we're just going to have to see how it goes because a lot of cars are coming into the pitch yet. No, are they all trying to get to the end of the race? It looks like they're all trying to get to the end of the race, some of these cars here. But they should start running out of fuel. And yeah, look, they're all starting to run out of fuel here. Diaz is still in front of us, so it looks like they're trying to get to the end of the race as well. Maybe that's the only way that they can feel they can win the champ win the championship here. Is if they keep these cars out. But then look, we've overtaken the other Ozu team of Santa Ana there. So what's up with Latin in here? Her tires her tires have gone, aren't they? She's locked up somewhere on this final lap. So we'll just try to conserve those enough to the end of the race. Let's see where Santa Ana can get to here. She does have an ex enough excess fuel here to start pushing an attack on these tyres, even though it started raining. Hopefully she doesn't crash here, so we're coming around. No, that's not the end of the race, is it? It says last lap, because that car's got past, so we've just just got enough here. We've turned the engine down, so hopefully... Looks like there might be some other cars here that are going to run out of fuel. There's, there's a lot of cars here that have pushed from that last pit stop. So let's just hope, see where we can get to here. I don't think we're going to catch these cars around here, but I don't think any of these cars are the ones that we were competing with. So 7th place might be good enough here. Might be good enough for... Gato's got up, but Diaz is behind us. He's finished in that place, so maybe. So hopefully 7th place is enough for Santa Ana to win the Drivers' Championship. The tyres are just about to go on this final corner. That shouldn't matter too much. So we have finished quite a way above the Ozu team there. So 7th and 14th is not too bad for this race. We do usually do quite badly in the Black Sea. And I wasn't expecting us to get anywhere near the front of the grid. 
especially the way the weather worked out for us. And it looked like a lot of these cars, although they did make those pit stops, so I wonder how they stayed out in front of us. Maybe they just timed it a bit better. I think a lot of these are those ones that went the extra lap when it started raining. But yeah, but it looks like we've beaten the Ozu cars. Have we beaten the Eastwood cars? Mikhailovich he got pretty close. I can't remember who's in the other Eastwood car this season. Just have to keep an eye out now. We've got fingers crossed still that we've won the championship. Hopefully we've won both of them because we managed to get Santa Ana all the way from the back of the grid up into 7th place there. So Just keep these fingers crossed here. Keep them crossed. Get that a great result. So we ended up with 28 points there. So what else is around us? I don't think there's anyone else around from Eastwood. Both the Eastwood cars finished lower down. The Ozu cars finished lower down. So it looks like we've got the championship in the bag. Who was around us? Mikhailovich were behind... Where did Diaz finish in the end? He finished down here. And who was the other one? Mikhailovic? Diaz? It was someone in a Vexela, wasn't it? I don't think it was Vinan. No, that was him. Was it someone in the Eastwood? Carly? So it looks like we've also won the Drivers' Championship here. I'm reluctant to press continue just in case we haven't. You've got the biggest smile on my face at the moment. And look at that, we did actually win the Drivers' Championship. An absolutely storming performance from uh, Santa Ana there. Can't quite believe that. And we finished first and ninth with both our drivers. 269 points. So is that enough? Is that enough to win the championship? And it is. Look at that, we've won by 10 points over the Firebird team. Those who dropped down and so did Eastwood drop right down there as well, right at the end. So that obviously made a big difference to them. I thought they were the ones competing with us, but because they finished so low down with double points, it looks to have messed them up. But look at that. First for the drivers and first in the Constructors' Championship as well. An absolutely amazing result for this season, especially considering we don't have the best car. And Santa Ana is nowhere near being the best driver. She's only rated two, two and a half stars, but even in this race, she was only rated two stars because she has a dodgy neck issue. So absolutely amazing there to win that race. Not win the race, but you know what I mean. Just be good enough to win the championship there. And we actually pulled out a gap over the best team in this uh in this race to, in this uh season, the Ozu. I think they're the next best rated team because they're the team that came down from the Asia Pacific. And we came fifth overall, which was good enough to win the championship. So I'm actually can't think of much to say because that's such an amazing result. We've got the new one there, so she's got that nurse going back. So I wonder what happened between her and the mechanic. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, we've won the Drivers' Championship and we've won the Constructors' Championship. Absolutely amazing result. I can't quite believe it. And obviously, it's something that I wasn't too bothered about happening this season and something that I was actually not wanting to happen because we're going to have to move up now to the Asia Pacific although we don't have to accept it but we're going to have to go we are going to go ahead and do it because it's pretty stupid not to accept that extra money that we possibly could get from moving up but we're going to be so far behind the other teams in that uh, series look at that we've got a nice amount of money there absolutely amazing there can't quite believe that we did that and look Santa Ana the driver's championship and that's her championship photo <laughs> broken nose a dodgy neck bruised eye so I have no idea what happened to her that's the second time that's happened to her that she's had a dodgy neck so I don't know what she gets up to and here we go our trophy European racing series with this little steering wheel in the middle and this little reef around the outside team principal fuzzy face 269 points Prize money of 30750000 so look at that, 1st and ninth. Good enough that we might actually consider keeping Maya for the next season now. I'm not quite sure still. Maybe we will need that experience or that extra boost of, um, of a better driver. So maybe someone who's 3 stars and maybe we could look for a pair driver who's 3 stars. That would be the most ideal thing because that's what we have. Uh, Maya around for because we don't actually pay a lot of money for her so I'm gonna have a look to see if we can find another pay driver 
but it needs to be someone who's rated better, obviously. So whether there is anyone out there, I don't know if anyone knows whether there's any free agents that are pay drivers. Obviously, if you do, leave a comment down below. But we're going to have, in the off-season, we're going to have to go ahead and scout and see if we can find someone like that. Car condition. Santa Ana did quite well there, even without the nurse that she managed to get that car around with not much damage to it. And Santa Ana, I'm the champion. Reigning European Racing Series champion. So marketability, morale plus 50, mechanic relationship, I'm chairman, happiness. So that marketability is plus 20 is going to be... Pretty good for next season, yeah, because look at that. That Santa Ana now has got us up into a three star sponsor appeal level, which means we should get some better sponsors here, which means we should be making an absolute ton of money for next season. And yeah, so absolutely brilliant there. We are not working on any more parts, everything's done. We obviously started the design center build, design center build on the last episode. So hopefully we're going to have enough money, but we're going to see how we build the chassis. See what that goes like, and we're probably going to end up building a telemetry centre. I was thinking about a test track, but in the now that we're moving up to the Asia Pacific series, the engine is not important, I don't think, because they do have spec engines in that one. I don't think they've voted it out. Wrong one. Wrong one there. Asia Pacific Cup 2nd rules. Spec engines. Yeah, so we're going to have the same engine as every other team there I don't think they've done it so they're replacing Vancouver with Black Sea which is obviously great for us because we don't do very well at the Black Sea usually we've never been on the Vancouver track refueling using 40, 40, using 40 kilogram fuel tanks fuel tanks can last up to 40% of race distance well basically that's obviously great in our direction again because that's the same rule that we use in the European racing series that forces two pit stops during a race or at least two pit stops. Maybe I think some of the races are longer in the Asia Pacific thing, so it might be three pit stops. Uh, yeah, it could be three pit stops in the Asia Pacific Super Cup next season for a lot of the races. Which obviously the pit stops do seem to work in our favour because we have that strategy of going a bit longer than all the other cars and getting clear air away from the back of the pack. But whether that works enough or not in uh, the Asia Pacific uh, Super Cup I don't know because we probably will be starting at the back of the grid because it will be qualifying based grids next season obviously we usually but saying that we do quite well we've done quite well from the back of the grid with Santa Ana this year in quite a bad car so I'm not quite sure how it's going to work out we're just going to have to wait and see for that but anyway yeah that's it for this episode and that's it for season 2 I'm going to go ahead and break open a bottle of digital champagne here to celebrate with my drivers um, and yeah so season three should be coming up um, maybe later today I'll probably do the other video or maybe in the morning I'll be posting that so if you want to be notified of when that comes up and you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button down below next episode season three episode one will be setting up the car for the new season so we'll see what we're shaping up like and we'll run the um, We'll run the pre-season testing to see where we stand with the other cars. Obviously, we'll be probably a long way behind because look at this, the Garuda Racing, which was by far and above the best car last season by a mile in the European. They got promoted. They have done very poorly in their first season at the Asia Pacific Super Cup and will be moving back down, so we'll be taking their place. I don't know who they replaced Jar and Buchamp with. Rodriguez I think is a decent driver yeah look, so they went from they had the best drivers but look at that they were rated as the worst car in that series and they still their car last season is a lot better than our car this season I think so we're going to be a very very long way behind but anyway as I said we're going to leave it there so if if you please like me please that we won this championship then go ahead and smash that like button down below Give me a few likes for that and comment down below if you've got any suggestions in what we could be doing over the off-season. As I said, I'm not going to be looking to improve the drivers unless I can find another pay driver because I am hoarding money. I like hoarding money with this team to build new parts and HQs. Drivers aren't too important at the moment. Although for the Asia Pacific they might be. But anyway, until next time, it's been a fun season. 
a great season, an exceptional season, a successful season and more importantly a winning season. So until next time I'll see you down the road and bye bye.